good day welcome to another sharepoint session on creating charts in sharepoint in today's tutorial i'm just going to explain how to integrate google charts on a sharepoint site i've already given a tutorial on how to integrate external charts into sharepoint this particular google chart is free so you would not have to buy the charts so hence i'm creating a tutorial just to explain how to integrate google charts into your sharepoint site first open up google charts website and i've opened up using js fiddle and you can play around with the chart directly from the html itself for example this particular chart is displaying the data for uh, the app uh, for the fruits so it original data was related to cities and the population i can modify the data to display something else i modify the data in this window to replace the values with fruits and the old price and the new price so if i want to add a new fruit i will just add the array value let's say give another example let's say strawberry and once i do that i'll click run and the chart also gets modified and you can see the updated chart so now the first step we have seen is to generate a chart in html next we need to get the chart values dynamically so i have tested that using a variable that data chart and that value i am passing into the google chart i have already done that next we need to get the value from a sharepoint list so that choice is up to you you need to get the value from a sharepoint list and store that into the variable now in this particular example we need to create a sharepoint list of name fruits with a value first column can be title the next column can be value another column called new value and we can insert these values into the sharepoint list and we can use either csop or uh, rest api to get the sharepoint list values and we need to store that into a, an array variable so in the particular example i have i'm just going to use the csop and i'm going to store that into a variable in this format needed for the chart so i'm getting the list name called fruits x axis is coming there is a title column which is having the fruit name a value column is the original value and value new just the new value and uh, others i said the first column is the uh, first data chart value contains the column headers next using the csaw i'm calling the sp function sp.js functions i'm calling the client context i'm reading the sharepoint list and i'm loading all the list values using camel query and uh, i'm enumerating or reading through each list item and in our example we just need the list item x axis value the y axis value and the the new value our x axis sorry y axis value new and the rest of the code is referring to the code from the google charts which i copy pasted here the only change will be the place where i have to update the data chart value dynamically which is now getting pulled from the sharepoint list so once this code is ready ready how to test that so i need to copy paste this particular code and put that into a sharepoint page so i've created a page in sharepoint i put the script editor web part and i add the web part using script editor and i paste the code there and i've done that and then i hit refresh and the chart gets displayed in case there are any issues all you need to do is to just press f12 and make sure that the data is loaded correct correctly so i'll just press f12 to ensure that you all can also see what i've done i'll open the console window i'll do a refresh to the page and look at these values these are the values we can double check if the values are correctly loaded in case of any issues you can just click that line and find out what's the problem 
And if you want the code snippet, you can get it from https gist.github.com slash thangeshwari. And you can just select the Google chart demo.html. It has the demo code for the Google chart demo, which is displaying the data in HTML form. And then the SharePoint code, which you can put into the script editor web part. So as a quick summary, we first tested Google chart on Fiddle. Then we type, try to get the value dynamically and also from a SharePoint list. And finally, we added the code to script editor in a SharePoint page and the SharePoint chart is ready. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.